Hyundai's largest SUV quickly became very popular. Now, it is time for the next chapter, the second generation of the Palisade. The Korean company is developing an all-new model, whose debut is expected by the end of this year. This means tons of changes. Here's what the 2025 Hyundai Palisade will look like, what's under the hood, and how the carmaker plans to make a significant impact in the three-row SUV market. One of the few shortcomings of the original Palisade was the lack of an efficient drivetrain. Yes, the SUV offers a potent power plant, but right from the start, something was missing, a hybrid engine. The next-gen Palisade is introducing a new system that will improve gas mileage and maintain performance. A configuration centered around a 2.5-liter turbo 4 unit might push the outputs beyond 300 horsepower. More importantly, the SUV needs to do better than 22 miles per gallon combined. Some rivals are close to a 30-mile rating. The Santa Cruz truck's 2.5-liter engine produces 280 horsepower and achieves 25 miles per gallon, hinting at the potential benefits of hybridization for the Palisade. A 3.8-liter engine remains under the hood. It is one of the reasons why the Palisade became popular. V6 can deliver 291 horsepower and offers all-wheel drive as an alternative to front-wheel drive. 8-speed automatic transmission works smoothly, and so far, owners are very happy with the drivetrain. Plus, Hyundai offers an extended warranty compared to rivals. The next-gen Palisade might also feature a turbocharged V6 engine for a performance addition, possibly the end package, which could produce 350 or even 400 horsepower. Such power, combined with potential off-road capabilities, would position the Palisade against the Toyota 4Runner and Ford Bronco. The all-new SUV will ride on a new platform, with updated architecture and lighter materials enhancing ride quality and fuel efficiency. This upcoming concept is also designed to maximize the hybrid unit's potential. It's unclear whether the 2025 Palisade will grow in size, as it currently measures nearly 197 inches in length. Spy photos haven't clarified this aspect. However, the overall design inspired by the Ionic is obvious and there are also some elements that can remind you of the smaller Kona crossover. The tall front fascia will make the upcoming Palisade more aggressive, while the headlights are positioned lower than before. The redesigned roof introduces a floating effect, similar to the Santa Fe SUV. All in all, the fresh, boxy look will definitely make the Palisade eye-catching. The calligraphy trim returns as the most exclusive package for the next-gen 2025 Hyundai Palisade. It features premium leather upholstery with special details, remote park assist, an advanced audio system, and massaging front seats. Best of all, the price remains reasonable. Even the entry-level model, SE, comes with a generous set of accessories. The SEL is a nice upgrade if the base configuration doesn't impress. The XRT comes with unique styling tweaks that will make the Palisade look meaner. The limited package also offers premium options, such as a dual-panel sunroof and a head-up display. Spy photos indicate that the all-new 2025 Hyundai Palisade is in the final phases of development. Expect a debut later this year. The company might aim for the LA Auto Show in November. It will be worth waiting for the 2025 model year with all the upgrades it brings. The downside is that the price is going up. The MSRP of the base version will be around $38,000. The calligraphy can be purchased for fifty-five dollars making it one of the best deals for a premium SUV. A hybrid engine won't affect pricing, but a performance version with a turbo V6 definitely will.